All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to use a remote control. Now these are general instructions on how to use a remote control that can be used upon a variety of different types of remote controls. Now with that being said, some remote controls have specific features that can only be used with that particular brand or television. So with that being said, let's go and get started on how to use a remote control to turn on your television, to operate your television. So right here is a Samsung remote control used for Samsung television. Now with the remote control, it comes with a sensor right here that emits a transmitter that emits a signal to the television uh, or whatever you're using in order for it to be controlled. So make sure that you don't have anything caked up or gunked up into this and make sure that there's nothing obstructing when you point and use this remote, there's nothing obstructing this sensor and the television, such as a couch or a plant or anything in front of it. Because if there is, this remote control may not work. Now, with that being said, we're going to start with the basic functions. If you look at the remote control, there will be typically a button that looks like this. It may not be red, but it will have the symbol. If not, it will say power on it, and that is the power button. This button right here, usually located at the top of the remote control, whether it be the right or the left-hand side, is used for powering on the television or powering off the television. You just simply press it, and the television will turn on, you press it again while the television is on, and it will typically turn off. Now, if you're not pointing it directly at the television, you may run into some issues, but this is the power button. The next is the source button. Now, the source button, it may be called something else on your remote control, and this typically toggles in between the source. Okay, so you can have the television, you can have perhaps some sort of music player, perhaps a cable box or CD player if they still make those or whatnot. And this toggles between the sources. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is after you, well, sources also HMDI, HDMI, HDMI, yes, HDMI cable. If you have it plugged in and it's coming from a different source such as uh, the cable box or satellite, you press this and it will typically toggle through the HDMI sources, okay? So that is the source button. The next, we're gonna talk about the numbers. The numbers right here, you press the numbers uh, once you have your source selected and you wanna change the channel to something that you wanna watch. And you don't want to go uh, channel by channel, you can go directly to the channel that you want by pressing the channel, okay? Press number 22 it'll take you to channel 22, right? Uh, there is a pre-channel. These are pre-made channels or, or fixated channels that have been programmed right here. Uh, that is um, uh, brand dependent or specific model dependent. Wouldn't worry about too much about that. Right here is the mute button. If your television is on and you want it the sound to go away right away because of an emergency or you just want to mute it so you can say something, press the mute button and that will mute your channel. And if you press it again, it will unmute your channel. Mute and unmute. All right, so that is the mute button, mute and unmute button. Uh, the next we have the volume button. If your television is too quiet and you need the volume higher, you just simply press the plus button on the volume button right here and that will increase the volume making it louder so you can hear it the television better and vice versa if you want the television to be quieter if it's too loud press the minus button the more you press it the lower it will go and that will turn the volume down. So you have the plus and the minus button on the volume, and that controls how loud the television is. 
Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the channel up and the channel down button. Now we talked about going to the channels directly by pressing the exact channel that you want. However, there is a channel button that will toggle through the channels one by one. If you press the upward uh, part of the channel button, that will increase the channel, for instance, one, channel one to channel two, to channel three, to channel four, channel five, channel six, channel seven, channel eight, channel nine, channel 10, channel 11, channel 12, will you get it, right? And if I want it to lower the channels, I will press the down button. So it'll go from 12, 11, channel 10, channel 9, channel 8, channel 7, channel 6, channel 5, channel 4, channel 3, channel 2, channel 1. All right, so that decreases the channels. All right, <clears throat> so we have the volume button, we talked about the channel button, we talked about the mute, the power, the source, and the getting the channels uh, directly. Uh, the next buttons, there's going to be a lot of different buttons on here, but I'm just going to go and talk about the ones that could be perhaps universal. And um, the home button, that will bring you back to the home. Exit button, you want to familiarize yourself with this. This will typically allow you to escape menu choices that you have selected on your particular television or... Uh, if you accidentally press the button, sometimes you can press the exit button or the go back button and it will take you out of whatever accident that you had. Now, there is a sleep button. Do you see this button right here? This sleep button is something that a lot of people may find very useful. For instance, if it's late at night and you want to watch some TV but you're afraid that you're going to fall asleep and leave the television on, you can set the sleep button by pressing the sleep button and it will uh, automatically turn on, turn off your television after a period of times. For instance, if you press sleep, it may give you the option of turn off in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, 180 minutes, etc. It may give you those options to where it will turn off after a period of time. The sleep button very, very, very functional. The guide button, it may or may not bring you up to the television guide, depending on your television. But the settings, this is an important feature to have right here, is the settings. And typically, you'll find the settings button or perhaps the, it may say, menu. What will happen is it will bring you to a, media, a menu or settings to where you control things such as the color temperature of the television, as well as uh, different things like the tint, if you want to change the color or the, you know, many different things with the internal television, you might want to go to settings. Okay, so that's the settings button. Uh, there's an info button that can vary depending on your make and model of your television. Uh, we talked about the exit button, the return button. Typically, it may bring you back to the previous screen that you were in if you're in the settings or menu. That depends on the television. Um, right here, you have a, kind of like a directional pad. You can go left, right, down, and up. This typically can help you navigate through the settings or the menu feature once you have brought up it up inside of your television. Uh, a lot of remotes have things such as a forward, play, and pause button. Sometimes this can be associated with a media player connected to your television or if you're watching uh, Netflix or something on your television that you can pause, play, and go forward. That's option right here. Uh, the P size, the picture that is uh, brand dependent and all these other programs. So that is how you can use a remote. I can go over one other thing as perhaps removing the batteries. If the batteries are dead, just go to the back and detect which batteries they take. These right here are AA batteries. Just take them out and typically put them back in similar to how you took them out. Always make sure that they're back into place. 
and that is how you use a remote control. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.